I actually was just reading a newspaper article about Charlie Sheen and the fact that he did his concert that everybody was so excited about that he was, you know, he sold out in Detroit, etc. And I remember hearing, oh no, please don't let him get up on the stage. Please don't let him make a fool of himself like that. Why are people using him, taking money from him, etc.? And it turns out that the show apparently was not good. People walked out, were asking for refunds. And I believe that Charlie Machine at this time is so manic that he's not even able to hear what people around him are saying. Your anger and your hate, I think, is coming off as erratic to people. Passion, my passion. It's all okay, passion. Okay, your passion yes. is coming off as erratic right. to people. Right, well, you borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Yeah, because it just, it fires in a way that is, um, I don't know, maybe not from this particular uh, terrestrial uh, realm. I think some of those things that you're putting out there are making people think something's wrong with you. That's... That's up to, that has nothing to do with me, really. I mean, they're, they're entitled to, I suppose, interpret stuff um, as they must. Some are, a doctor of. What some are, are saying of? that you're bipolar. Wow, what does that mean? <clears throat> I guess that, you know, you're on two ends of the spectrum. Wow. And then what? What's the cure? Medicine? Make me like them? Not going to happen. I don't think he's under able... I don't think he's able at all to have any insight as to what's going on, and I'm very worried about him. In fact, my mom was saying she'd be very surprised if he came out of this alive, which is a very depressing thing to think about. But all of us with mania know what's going on. Now, to have a prolonged manic episode like he is is quite rare, but I actually asked a friend of mine recently, I said, what was your longest manic episode? She said she had one for three months, and it ended her in a hospital in Prague. So we all know what those long manic episodes are like. But yeah, someone's got to speak up. Someone's got to step up for Charlie Sheen, whether he wants them to or not. I mean, someone's just got to keep bulldozing in there to get him help. But even now on the radio and on television, they're still making jokes. And now when he has his fall, you know, when things get bad, when he's not quite as funny as he was before. People thinking Charlie Sheen is, has got to be on drugs again. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Um, <laughs> It, uh, it's not available because if you try it once, you will die. Your face will melt off and your children will weep over your exploded body. Um, too much. I have a feeling the media is just going to sort of creep away and not be there when he needs them. So yes, I'm worried about Charlie Sheen. I think about him often and I hope he gets the help he needs. I, I often get calls from family members and partners of people with bipolar disorder and I just wish Charlie Sheen's family, if you're out there, go ahead and give me a call because I know what you're going through and I know what needs to be done and I hope people can get to Charlie Sheen in time because I'm really worried about him, but things can get better, so I do feel there's hope.